CS2 has just received another update, and with it, some graphics settings now work completely differently. If you're still using your old setup, you're probably losing FPS, visibility, and maybe even gunfights without realizing it. Today, I'm going to walk you through the exact post-update settings that pros are already switching to, settings that can give you higher FPS, smoother gameplay, and better clarity without making the game look like a blurry mess. Let's dive in. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in the description. Select the CS2 game and click the boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. When it comes to aspect ratio and resolution, most players think it's just personal preference. But after the latest CS2 update, there's more to consider. Around 85% of professional players still stick with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, and 55% specifically choose 1280 by 960 stretched. The trade-off is that this resolution crops the edges of your screen. Sure, if an enemy is barely visible at the edge, you're probably already in trouble. But there are situations where this limitation can cost you. For many pros, it's simply what they've used for years, and the stretched image makes opponents appear slightly larger, which is a significant advantage. The downside is that horizontal stretching also makes things appear faster, which some players, like me, find distracting. That's why I personally prefer 16 to 9. Surprisingly, most pros don't use the absolute highest resolution. While lower resolutions can boost FPS slightly on some systems, the bigger benefit is reduced clutter and improved visibility, making the game feel cleaner. If you have a solid PC, starting with 1920 by 1080 is a good choice. Still, don't hesitate to experiment with stretched resolutions to see if they give you an edge. After the update, a few in-game settings might look unfamiliar, but they can make a real difference if tuned correctly. The recent July 30th patch didn't just tweak performance. It completely overhauled the animation system using AnimGraph 2. This upgrade makes reloads, inspections, and weapon actions feel smoother and more responsive. But it also changes how certain visual effects and timing cues appear in-game. Because of this, your graphic settings now have a bigger impact on both clarity and reaction time than before so it's worth rechecking them after updating. V-Sync should always be disabled, no matter your setup. Boost player contrast sounds like a good idea, and while it can help a little with spotting enemies, it also slightly reduces FPS, so many pros keep it off. Personally, I leave it on, but it's not a make or break feature. One important thing in CS2 is that going too low on settings can hurt enemy visibility. MSAA is a perfect example. If you're close to your native resolution, turning it off can save FPS. But if you're playing much lower, CMAA2 has little FPS cost and slightly improves clarity. Global Shadows is another tricky one. Yes, it's heavy on FPS, but it's also tied directly to gameplay. On low, shadows disappear completely and on medium, they vanish at longer distances. That's why most pros keep them on high or very high. However, there's currently a post-update trick that lets you keep shadows while running low settings by editing certain files in your Steam user folder. I'll explain how to do this later in the video. But remember, this tweak might not last forever. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in the description. Select the CS2 game and click the boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. Model detail and texture filtering mainly come down to personal preference, but they do affect FPS and visuals. If you've ever seen a strange effect when headshotting an enemy, it might be because your model detail is too low. After testing on two systems, medium gave me slightly better FPS and cleaner visuals compared to low, which is why I recommend it. 
For texture filtering, I've consistently noticed that Bilinear offers worse performance than Anisotropic 16 by And don't worry, the FPS difference is minimal on most modern systems, even lower-end ones. Shader detail and particle detail used to be set high in CS.GO, so players could see through Molotov flames better. But in CS2, Molotovs and grenade smokes have been reworked, so I haven't noticed any difference. For FPS, low works best for both. Ambient occlusion is another setting worth mentioning. It adds extra shadows to some surfaces, which can slightly improve depth perception. I suggest keeping it on medium for balance. HDR is another setting that might not seem important, but many players have reported grainy visuals after the update and turning HDR quality on can help make the game look cleaner and sharper. Fidelity FX Super Resolution FSR, is more situational. If you're playing near your native resolution, FSR can greatly improve FPS without hurting clarity. Balanced or quality mode works well. But if you're on a low resolution like 1280x960, FSR on low can actually make visibility worse. In that case, turning it off might be better. NVIDIA Reflex is a bit harder to measure, but it can slightly lower input lag. I keep it enabled, as it's unlikely to hurt performance. And if you have a strong system, you can try Enabled Plus Boost for potentially even better responsiveness. So that's the updated CS2 graphics settings guide to help you get more FPS and smoother gameplay after the latest patch. Apply these changes, test them in-game, and tweak them based on your comfort. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more optimization tips.